is the mantle of first jockey to Sheikh Hamdan Al Maktoum sitting a little bit more comfortably now than perhaps it was in the opening days? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I've uh, finally got my head round it. Um, it took a bit of time, uh, to be honest, Tom, but yeah, you know, I'm really looking forward to it now and, you know, I've, uh, I've set, settled in a bit more and, uh, you know, get getting used to the different trainers and the different gallops and the, so yeah, it's, it's going to take time, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, normally we would be having a conversation prior to the season back in Yorkshire. Here we are in, in, in your garden in Newmarket, all a bit different. Riding work at Newmarket as well, that must just, it's just been taking a, a bit of getting used to, I'd imagine. Yeah, I mean, it is, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while to get used to. Um, you know, I've, I've been with Richard Five for, you know, 16 years, and we've got one um, all weather gallop, um, and I sort of knew every, every fibre sand, of, you know, of, mm. of, of, of the gallop, and, you know, we use molten gallops as well, but, I mean, it's just a totally different ball game here. It's so many gallops, and, um, you know, so many you know, different trainers, um, you know, like like things to be done differently, and um, so yeah, it's 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 gonna take a you know a bit of getting used to, Tom. But uh, I'm I'm looking forward to the new challenge. I would imagine for most people, they'd think if they were offered that job, it's just a question of give me five minutes and and, and I'll pack my bag and and where where do you want me? For you, there was a lot more thought. Obviously, had to go into it and 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 a bit of soul searching. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, so there's so much. I mean. But, first things come to me is, is my wife and kids and uh, you know my, my, uh, my two boys well my, my eldest uh, my eldest lad he's he's not long started school um, so that 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 was a big uh, a big a big thing we had to discuss with me and my wife Anna um, you know I've been in Malton for, for so long yeah. you know um, it'd, be, it'd be you know 17 years I've been in Malton so uh, it's it's just it's just massive and you know the family are gonna um, stay stay up the north for for, for for a while because they don't really want to mess them about with skills. Um, so uh, hopefully they'll they'll come down soon when it when it gets sorted. And and it was that loyalty. It's been well publicised that loyalty that you had and that rapport with Richard Fay as well um, to go in and to see him and to discuss things with him as well wasn't easy. No, it was probably one of the one of the hardest. Um, hardest things I've had to do in my life really um, you know Richard's like like sort of family now um, and, 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 and Robin assistant trainer um, it was probably one of the hardest things I've had to do and um, it was a bit embarrassing really I got quite upset you know and um, you know, Rick, 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 Richard uh, Richard took, took, took the mickey a little bit but but no, it was it was very hard. Um, you Did know, you feel you were you were almost letting him down in a sense, or? or, or? Yeah, I mean, if, uh, I mean, it was just cause it's, it's quite close to the season uh, that, that that starting as well. So I knew, um, you know, you know, we've been doing lots of uh, preparation with the horses, and it was quite close to, to to the up and coming season. But I think you know we've both been so loyal to, loyal to each other. Yes. Um, and I did just think I was just letting him down, but um, I kind of knew what 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 his answer would be because he, because he's a gent, you know. And, and that answer was uh, the answer was just you know you've 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 got to take it as chance of a lifetime, um, and I, I, I sort of knew he was going to say that, you know, um, uh, and, I, and 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 I think you know I knew he, he was right. Um, but yeah, it's one of the hardest things I've had to do. Um, you know, I got very upset because I've been with him so long, so it was, it was tough. The good news, in a sense, is that, you know, outside of, and when you're available outside of the new job, you'll still ride for Richard as and when you can. Yeah, um, and, and, that, and that was great, you know, when he, when, he, when, he, when he said that as well, because I just sort of had uh, tunnel vision, or I'm going to leave, I'm going down south, and I'm never going to see anyone again. And, you know, and Richard just put things into into perspective really, and says, you know, you you still you're still going to ride lots lots of uh, winners and horses for me, and um, so that 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 was that was great to to know that. Yeah, I suppose things have turned full circle in a way because <coughs> in the dimmer distant past, your father was down here as as, as mm. an apprentice for a brief time, 
Um, no doubt it's a story that you've heard time and time again when you were growing up and now here you are obviously in a, in a, in a very established position. Has father been down yet? No he's not no, <coughs> excuse me yeah. He's, he's not, he's looking forward to coming down, but uh, I think the last time he was here, he, uh, a long time ago, he didn't, yeah. he didn't really have a good, uh, he didn't really, you know, he was very young, I think he was 16 when he, when he come down to work for John Moore, and, mm. uh, you know, things just didn't work out, but it's just amazing, you know, when he, you know, looking back now, and he started off here, and, and, and I'm here now, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. And it was his sort of pursuit of, of, of racing and love of racing because even though he didn't sort of pursue a career in racing he still rode out and it was that that started you off of course. Yeah, um, you know he, he sort of took time out of, uh, he got made redundant actually um, through, through work and he started to ride out at weekends for Terry Caldwell and uh, I followed, just followed him down there one day really, it was probably, I was into me football and you know probably got cancelled one Saturday and I followed him down there and 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 that was it really it was just like a bug um, and, and and the bug bit me and and, and uh, started riding out the quieter horses there with with, 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 with my dad and, and and that was it the football got to one side and but yeah it's 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 amazing as well because you know I went to um, British racing school um, which is now only just down the road down the road yeah, yeah. And, and and you know I'm passing that every morning to go and ride out and you know, to come back home and I'm passing that and it's just, uh, it's just amazing to think, you know, so many years ago I started at the British Racing School and now I'm, I'm passing it out every day. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty weird. You must find the buzz of Newmarket on a morning a lot more different to what you were used to back home, even that because basically the Richard Fire Yard, tremendous <coughs> buzz in that yard, but it's a single yard, nobody, were, you know, waiting to use gallops or anything like that. Here, it's a real hive of activity. Yeah, it's 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 pretty breathtaking to be honest. Yeah, you know when you, I mean, I just I seen um, Sir Henry Cecil String uh, out there the other morning, and it was just I thought I didn't think it was going to going to end. You know, it was just amazing, and 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 the whole buzz of of Newmarket. You know, uh, everyone's getting geared up for the start of the season. And it's a pretty amazing place. You know, it it can take your breath away, and it's got a really good buzz about the place. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a privilege to ride out every every morning here. Yeah. What's your earliest memory of, of, of sort of remembering, if you like, the seeing the Sheikh Hamdan colours in action? Yeah, I mean, it, it's have to be uh, Nash, Nash when I was about nine years old and, um, you know, I probably sne sneaked off from, from school someday and my dad let me watch, watch the derby with him. And it's, it's probably one memory in, in, in the whole of, you know, my me, me, me racing career of seeing Willie Carson coming past the line on, on Nash when, and, you know, the famous blue and white colours and, you know, to get the to get the chance to be wearing them on a, you know, all the time now is um, is is pretty surreal. You know, to be honest. Big thrill, I would imagine. Oh, massive and and great pride as well. You know, it's, su it's, su it's such a, you know, it's such an honour. You know, to be to be given the chance. Um, you know, to to to, to put the colours on and and um, and you know, it's it's it's. I'm just going to try my very very best to. And do do the best I can because, you know, these chances in life don't don't come along too often. So, I think I've worked hard to get the position, and I'm going to try and take it with both hands, really. Early days, but have you found um, it welcoming in Newmarket to you people? Yeah, absolutely. I've I've been you know overwhelmed really. You know the help I've I've been getting. Um, you know, obviously the likes of uh, William Haggis and Ed Dunlop. I've people been, you've you've ridden for quite regularly yeah, in the past anyway. Yeah, those two. I've been riding for many years, and you know they've 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 both been absolutely absolutely brilliant. You know, from from day one, you know, William and and and, and Ed have rode him plenty of winners over the years and got on really well with them. But I rode out for for for, for the both of them, and you know, uh, been you know had a good chat and over, over a cup of tea, and um, and you know as well as uh, everyone really, you know, uh, John Gosden's, um you know, been uh, it's been a great experience to go in and and, uh, and and ride out, and so yeah, everyone's been been very kind. What do you feel is the biggest challenge of this job, Paul? Um, the biggest challenge, I think, there's a few to be honest. Um, uh, one would be um, trying to mesmerise the names. Mm. Um, I think that's going to be difficult, um, but I think I've got plenty of time on my hands <laughs> yes. to do it. 
Yeah. How many horses are we sort of talking about sort of here really? Yeah, uh, probably about 250, Tom, mm. yeah. Um, and there's a lot to do, a lot of homework to do. Do you try and sort of, when you've ridden work and, you know, let's be fair, a lot of the names sound familiar, some of them are, are hard to pronounce, but do you try and make a mental note or even write down the names and sort of think, well, that was that nice filly by so-and-so that I rode one morning and that was mm. that nice cold, is that what you try and do? Yeah, I mean, what, what, what I've done now, I've got um, two um, big massive folders there which you can hardly pick up, you know, yeah. and, and every single horse, uh, if it's, you know, I've rode work on them at home, um, or I've rode them in the race, I, um, I always make a note um, of, of every horse that I ride, you know, dates, time, mm. uh, what gallop uh, I've rode on. And, um, it, it's, it, you have to do it, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of horses there. It's building up that sort of portfolio, yeah, really. Yeah, you know, I think, I think it's going to take time. It may, it may even take a full season to just get to grips with everything and, mm. and get to know, but, you know, I'm sure, um, you know, Sheikh Hamdan and, and Angus Gold, you know, un understands that. Yes. Um, so, yeah, but it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take time. But, yeah, I have two big folders in there, which I do a bit of homework every night and, and, uh, and, and go over things, yeah. So if that's one challenge, what do you see as other ones that you've got to, not overcome, but would, would face up to and, and, and um, yeah. meet head on? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, probably if, uh, another challenge would be um, the family uh, being up north. Yes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a family man and, um, you know, it's not going to be forever, but they're, they're going to be up north there for, I don't know, probably four or five months. Yes. Uh, may, may, maybe a bit more. Um, you know, I'm so I'm so used to seeing the kids every day and, and Dana, um, but you know it's not going to be forever. Um, when it just gets sorted out, and it's just tricky when when the boys are in school. Mm. Um, I don't want to move them about because um, you know I'm renting at the minute, and if they if they come here, they have to get into a school near where I'm renting, and eventually when I buy a house, I have to change them out of that school to go yeah. into the other house. So it's just a tricky tricky situation. But um, as I say, it's not going to be forever. I mean, it's been sort of noted, if you like, written up in, in one or two articles that, that, that you know, your lack of, of, of sort of group one experience uh, and by and large, your lack of knowledge of some of the, the southern courses. Do you see that as, as, as a challenge or do you see that as that I'm ready to take that? I can ride anywhere. I've ridden 1100 winners and I can take anything that anybody throws at me. Yeah, I mean, I've just I've been wanting to be to be given the chance to do it you know and I've uh, you know I've not really had the chance you know I mean I think it just show with when when Richie gets a good horse you know what what we what we both can do um, but you know I've not really you know for people to say that you know he's not really road enough uh, group one winners but you have to, you have to get the chance to get you know to, to, to do Not it the proper horses absolutely yeah so hopefully you know I've I've, uh, I've got this chance now and I can take it and, and, and on the tracks, uh, riding down on the southern tracks, you know, I've, I've rode mostly everywhere. Yes. Um, you know, Richard has, uh, has been having more runners, you know, more and more down south. So I've got plenty of experience and I think once I'm doing it on a regular basis, I don't think it'll be a problem. How much do you think the new job, for all its, its, <coughs> it, it, its worth and, and, and tremendous quality, presumably there, how much is that going to impact on the quantity situation, meaning your chances of, of retaining the championship for a third year? Yeah, I mean, I mean it would be great now um, if, if, if I could do it again, but to be honest, it would probably be at the bottom of my list now on, on priorities to do, you know, I think. Um, well, obviously, Shake Hamdan comes first, and you know I want to be I want to be ready for the for, for the big days. You know the you know your Ascots and the, and and the Derbies and the Guineas, and and I just want to be I just want to be ready now for for them big days. I think I've sort of been running around like a headless chicken the last two years, and um, I think it's just come at just come at the right time. You know because I was just afraid I was going to be a little bit burnt out. Um, in time, if it was carrying on the way he was doing. So, as I say, it's come at the right time, and I'm and I'm and I'm ready for this new challenge now. When you won it the first year and tremendous scenes that that year at Doncaster, did you imagine in the sort of aftermath of that that this just might happen again? Yeah. Well, 
I think I think you have to look at my price the first time, fifty to one. I think I was, wasn't yeah. I? And um, you know, I think I'd, I'd, I'd be lying if I ever thought it it, it, it would be happen. Uh, that that it would happen. But um, I was more chuffed really second time round because you know I, you get a lot of people saying it was a bit of a fluke or this and that. But I think I really really did prove myself. You know, to to win it on the um, on, on on the second time round. Um, you know, it was a uh, great feeling now. Um, and you know, you know the only northern jockey to do it twice on the bounce as well. So mm. it was, um, but yeah, it was great, you know. And there's some, something that that no one can take away from me. You touched on an interesting line there, the sort of even to yourself, proving proving to everybody else that you could do it, and it wasn't a fluke. Do you feel now in this new role as well that you have to sort of prove yourself once and once more? Yeah, and I think that's a good thing as well. You know, it, keep, it keeps you on the ball. Uh, keeps you on your metal, um, and you know I think you're only as good as your last ride as well. So I'm just I'm just really looking forward to like new, the new chapter in life, and um, you know as I say I can I can only do my best and try my best, and 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 we'll see how we go from there. I mean, you know, and I know, there's, there's, there's no thrill like sitting on a nice horse and, and a horse that's maybe improving and you don't know where the sort of the pinnacle might come. And there is that opportunity now of getting on horses with that potential. There was before at Richards, but, you know, there may be fewer and further between, obviously. But now mm. the, 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 the potential is, is much greater. Yeah. I mean, the only, um, the only thing I've, I've really realised now is, is, you know, the breeding of horses. Yes. Um, you know, horses I'm sitting on now are, are bred to win classics and, and yes. derbies and, you know, which I, I wasn't really used to. You know, at Richards, we've had some very good horses mm. um, and, you know, he, he did fabulous with, with, with what he did. But, you know, these horses are just, you look at the breeding and it sort of takes your breath away a bit. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, it's a great honour to, to be, you know, you get such a good feel off some of them in the morning um, and you think, you know, how lucky am I? Um, so, but yeah, re really looking forward to it. You know, on the big, the big race stage as well and it's just exciting. Yeah, um, it's just a di different, different ball game altogether. Yeah. Um, you know, and this is, this is what it's, you know, this is what you've, you've worked hard for. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, the last, uh, twice you know your champion jockey and what what do you get for it and you know I keep saying well this is it now you know yeah. this this is what you get for it hard work uh, over the years and uh, so yeah it's uh, you have to pinch yourself sometimes but yeah it's, it's great if you'd been offered this job for a sake of argument five years ago would you have been ready to take it uh, good question as a jockey as good, a jockey yeah uh, good question Tom and it probably the, the answer would probably be no um, I think the last, like you say, five years, definitely the last two or three years, has probably been the making of me. Um, what has matured into the finished article, do you mean? Um, pro probably uh, matured. I don't know about the finished article. I think, I think it'll, I, f I think it'll probably make, make me in, in, into the finished article after a few years doing this because yes. it'll be great experience and uh, I think it'll make me into a better jockey. Um, but I think, you know, a few years ago, um, it was still a little bit, you know, I still have felt I had more to, more to improve and, you know, um, and I think when the big days was that, come, was, Sorry, Paul, was that, was that mentally as well as physically and, if you like, skillfully? Yeah, I think more mentally, yeah, I think, um, I think when I had the, my first Group 1 winner, that um, did me the world of good mentally-wise. Yes. Yeah, you know, it shows that you can go there in the big days, you know, the ARC meeting. You yes. can't get much bigger than that and ride a Group 1 winner. Mm. Um, would that be the single most memorable thrill you've had on horseback? Yeah, it would be, absolutely. Um, you know, I've, I've a lot to thank Wharton Bassett. You know, he, um, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he did me the world of good, you know, and, um, you, know, you know, massive races at, uh, at, at Doncaster and York. Um, you know, and to win to win that Group One on on Arc Day um, at, at Longchamp there was, uh, was 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 pretty amazing, and it, it it did me the world of good as well. You know, it puts you again. Does that sort of prove something to yourself, Paul, when you go and win a Group One? Yeah, it, it proves something to yourself, and and 
proves you know something to other people as well. Um, you know you can go there in the big days and and do it, but you just need you just need the right horse to do it. You know, um, so hopefully we'll uh, I can go you know have, have more days like that again. So some big days, please God ahead, and 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 you must be just so looking forward to the sort of season getting into long strides and seeing what sort of horses you might sort of have the chance of, of, of claiming big prizes on. Yeah, you know, and, and that's what it's all about. Um, shake hand, Dan, you know, once these big days and um, and so do I, you know, and uh, and that's what it's all about. That's what you work hard for um, for many years and that's what I'm really looking forward to now.